Hey, 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 what do you say, 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 it's your girl, Lynn, on this beautiful election day. Look, we ain't about to talk about the election, though. It, this ain't what this video is about. If you read the title, it is what we're talking about. It's a cancer chat. It's a cancer confession. Yeah, so look, come on in with Lynn so you can see what we're chatting about today. All right, y'all, look, look, look. I know all up and down your timeline, whether you on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram, on Twitter, or either on TikTok, which right now YouTube is my only form of social media. And I'll tell you about that in another video. But on today, we will not be talking about this election because what I got on a statement piece and what my, what my shirt says, that's my state with and that's what I'm sticking to and that's what I'm standing by. I stand on this every word. If you ain't already re read my bio, then that means that you don't don't even know so go and read my bio so you won't get any surprises when you click on any of my videos but look at the end of the day we still gotta pray for the nation if y'all saw my short then you already know where i stand with and i uh, this is the only thing i'm gonna say about the election then we're gonna move on i stand on policies and not politician i'm not a democrat i'm not a republican but i'm a kingdom citizen all right let's get into it let's get into it y'all so on last night uh i was gonna film a video on yesterday because my bed bathroom not bed bathroom young but my bathroom body works order came in they was doing what they needed to do it came fast boo so it came in and i was gonna um do a whole little unboxing i was gonna come on in with lynn and share that unboxing with y'all so but um i just was not feeling my best on yesterday and y'all know how i am i like to show up in my best self at that particular time so and i was just needed i know i needed to get some rest so i was like you know i'm gonna wait this one out i'm gonna wait on it and then i'm just on um you know just strolling youtube like i normally do came across some new channels so shout out to you you and you everybody who came over here and subscribed to the channel as well i see y'all but if i if you don't comment i don't know y'all and i know some of y'all are new here and some of y'all flew here from a comment that i put on another channel on yesterday which is good you know this is all good here i am on this particular post and it was um sharing about this young lady here you see it on the screen so this is a tiktok influencer who she um you know she has transitioned and gone on but she was making tiktoks sharing her story so i you know commented on the post and you know i'm like yeah you know cancel sucks because they really do cancel really really suck regardless if you see me coming on here and you see me in my very best self you see me that I, my voice may seem strong but let me just tell you that that ain't nothing but the voice of god that's shining through me and in me because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world so not only that but his grace is sufficient. Come on now. In my weakness, his grace is what is perfect in my weakness. So I boast in my own weakness. Whenever I'm weak, I can boast in that. So you can see the Jesus that's on the inside of me. But make a long story short. So I commented on the post and I went on to say about cancer sucks. And you know that I was battling cancer as well. And you know, and just sent my condolences for the bereaved and all of that. So you know, a lot of people was coming on the post and they was just, you know, giving me words of encouragement. And just all of these things telling me that they're going to be praying for me. They stand with me. You know, this, that, and even some testimonies came through. And make a long story short, I still had somebody. You know, it's always going to be that one or two people that going to come through. So, and then I, I, I said, oh, hold up. Let's get into this. Because this is the... This is the Let's Talk Tuesday chat, right? Yes. So anyway, so you know I got to have my mug on today. And this mug is brought to, brought to you by uh, Faith. So, I got to let me, let me get a little sip. Because every now and then I get the dry mouth and that's come another side effect of chemo. However, okay, let's get back into it. So, um, with that particular comment, you know, so it was, it was a lot of more comments and, you know, people going to um, give their two cents or maybe they nickels and they dimes or whatever the case may be. And they're not living the life that you're living, but they may have something to say. And I know we're on social media, so they got every right to, you know, say what they want to say. And I've shared in a couple of videos, a go, 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 that I know about the herbal teas. I know about all the herbs. I know about the supplements. I know about those things. However, I was doing those things and I'm still doing them, but I still undergo my um, chemo treatment through my doctor. And this was something that I prayed about in the very beginning because when you also get diagnosed with a diagnosis like I have, which is triple negative breast cancer, and you know the um, outcome of it, and you get these diagnoses, and you got your doctors and your um, surgeons and speaking to you about these particular things, I had to go to the most high, and I had to talk with the most high, 
and really get in that place of finding out what direction that I need to go in. And I only did. And let me be clear. We got to begin to have the spirit of shut up and the spirit of discernment to know when to talk, how to talk and when to say what we need to be said, because what worked for you may not work for the next person. And because I know some people that have been on supplements and still didn't make it. And I know some people who's been in chemo treatment and still didn't make it and did not, did not mean that they was not a believer. Here's the thing. When I say that I'm battling or I'm fighting cancer, it's not because I'm miserable because I'm not miserable by a long time. I'm not the type of person that, you know, I want to be like, whoa, it's me. Uh, I want to have a pity part or any of those things. When I say that I'm battling cancer, that's just what I'm doing. I'm fighting. I'm fighting for my life. I'm fighting to live. That's what it is. I'm fighting to kill this cancer. I am battling to kill this cancer because it got to evacuate out of me. And the reason why I never say that I have cancer, I tell people that I've been diagnosed with this thing because I don't have this thing because it got to go. It got to be evacuated. It got to be evicted it out of me so that's why I never go around and be saying oh I got cancer oh I got no I'm battling this thing I'm fighting this thing I'm fighting with everything in me even with the supplements even with the with the doctor's orders even with all of that but that still don't not make me not be a believer don't you lock your doors at night hallelujah don't you don't you help some of us got alarms why why is it that you lock your doors why because you don't want any of the bride to break in you want anything to happen so it's still you take precaution that still does not make you a um unbeliever because you take medicine or anything like that and I definitely am not miserable by a long shot. I ain't never showed no misery. Only thing I ever show is truth and facts and my life and so that God can get the glory out of it because he got the glory before. He gonna get the glory in it. He gonna get the glory out of it. He get the glory out of it. And even in my weakness, his grace is made perfect. What? What does, what, what, what does scripture tell us? Come on now. His grace is sufficient. Even Jesus himself when he was on the cross and Luke 22 and 42 what did he say father let this cup pass by me but nevertheless your will and that's why i'm in i'm in a nevertheless season your will lord god no matter what so somebody can see your glory god so somebody can see that i was fighting this thing so somebody can see lord god that you healed me because i already know that i'm already healed even if i'm on healed on this side or healed on the other side one thing about god he said that it when jesus was on the cross he said it is finished that means everything that is finished is already done that we have already been forgiven that we have it's already finished about the healing. The healing is the children's bread. Come on now. He is Jehovah Rapha. He is our healer. So I don't claim cancer. I say I was diagnosed with cancer. Every now and then you may be diagnosed with a common cold and I ain't never seen nothing coming about the cold. Come on now. And here's the thing. I have the BRCA gene. Me and my brother both was diagnosed at the same time. He was diagnosed with prostate cancer and I was diagnosed okay, with... y'all, so this is <laughs> Evangelist Tamisha who come over to bring the food to your girl. Yeah, so and I was filming so she came by and she dropped the food off but I just love her so so much. Yes. Thank you so much. It's thank a blessing you. to do it for you. Yes, thank you. Alright, thank you. Back again, y'all. Y'all saw she was here in the flesh. I don't know what she's called this she was on the way and then she got here that fast. I don't know, but I'm about to wrap it up. This video is about to be the way that it is because I'm dropping a video on today. And I'm about to get ready to drop it. I know I, I was telling y'all about my brother was diagnosed with prostate cancer and I was diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer and we was diagnosed at the same time. And my, it, let me tell you something. What works for some people may not work for somebody else. And then I know some people who have transitioned and they were a believer in Christ Jesus. So don't think just because somebody is a believer that, 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 you know, that death is not upon, upon them. Come on now. Ain't none of us exempt from death. Ain't none of us exempt from it. Now, d definitely we don't have to die prematurely. However, we all, all of our life is but a vapor. We all ain't nobody getting out of here alive. I can tell you that. Ain't nobody get leaving this earth alive. That's one thing that we have to face. That's one thing that we got to face. We got to face death no matter what. So just in that and knowing that, you know, I know who God is in my life. I have a relationship, but you know, I didn't, I didn't come on for that, but I just wanted to come on with this chat on today to share with y'all. Why is it that I never say that I have cancer because number one another thing it's an uninvited guest it does not 
belong. It's a trespassing demon. That's what I be telling my life. Bye, Felicia. You got to go. Yeah, I talk to my counselor. I be like, oh, you got to go, boo-boo. Oh, Toma, you out of here. You gone. You, out, you getting out of here. You got to get up out of here. So every sale, and I do understand. Trust me. I went through it. Trust me. I know how I feel in my body. I know what, what chemo makes you feel like. I know the side effects, but there's also side effects of other things too. You can have side effects just for being, just for drinking too much Coca-Cola. You can have side effects just for being on social media too long. You can have side effects being around a person too long. You can have side effects by listening to certain type of music. There's side effects to this life. There's side effects to everything that you do. If you do too much of it, something can happen to you. So, but that's it, y'all. That's my time. I don't know how this video about to get ready to drop, how it's going to be. I'm going to piece it all together because I got about two or three interruptions <laughs> along the way, but I hope y'all get exactly what I'm saying. And I'm, I'm, look, I'm okay with people definitely sharing their testimonies when I tell you I love to hear testimonials about how somebody came up out of being diagnosed with a can with a cancer, especially a, a cancer with a with a aggressive cancer, with a high rate or anything like that. I definitely love to hear those type of testimonials. And um, if you want to offer some, I'm good on it. I get your heart, I understand it, but you have to do it respectfully. Just you got to do it respectfully because I don't hear you. I don't hear you. I don't hear you. And one thing about me, I'm not, I'm not going to go on your word. I have to go on the word of God at the end of the day. I still got to confine in him. I still got to come. So look, I'm about to get ready to end this video because I get one more distraction. But anyway, at the end of the day and at the beginning of the day, in the middle of the day, I'm going to stand on the word of God. My faith is going to be displayed and I'm going to walk by faith and not by sight because his word is saying that without faith, it is impossible to please God because we got to first believe that he is God. And those who diligently seek him, he is a rewarder of us when we diligently seek him, right? So that's what I do. I seek God in all things and everything. So no matter what it is in a cancer diagnosis, whether it's going to the grocery store, whether it's putting on this shirt, that shirt, whatever it may be, I'm seeking God. God, is this is what you want me to do today? Is this what you want me to speak today? Is this where you want me to go today? Even though I ain't going nowhere, I just be at home right about now until uh, my healing and my complete healing my whole healing i'm you know what because i'm already healed so i'm gonna say my restoration so when i'm fully restored in the name of jesus and i get back out there then you know i allow god to tell me where it is that i need to go when i need to go and how i need to go even what i need to say and how i need to say and when i need to say it and why I need to see it because sometimes God will have me to shut up. He'll have me seated in a spirit and shut up. He surely will. He'll shut me up. Ain't nothing like getting checked by the Holy Spirit. But y'all, that is it. That's my time because y'all know I can go on and on because why? I got the gift of God. Okay. Okay. So yeah, so but that is it. But before we go, go, go. Hey, 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 hey. Before we go, go, go. Y'all, I'm so sold off. That's true. See, that's another truth. I am, I, I'm in some pain, even though I came on, I'm still in some pain, but I'm going forth, even in the mix of what I'm going through. I'm, I've got some pain, y'all. So I'm about to get ready to go relax, but before we go, what we going to do, boo? What we going to do, boo? We going to live on purpose. We going to laugh on purpose. Ha, ha. And we're going to love, we're going to love, we're going to live, we're going to laugh, and we're going to love on purpose. Y'all. Love someone with the love of God. Until the next video. Salute.